Sean from Rossville Times. I'm here at Bloodstock 2024 and I have the wonderful duo that is Roglim. How are you doing? Wonderful, thanks for having us. No worries, no worries. Oh, so I understand you played earlier on, yeah? How did the set go? We did, yeah, well, like a couple hours ago. It was um, it was pretty fun, right? It was loads of fun. Um, I think I kind of took in how great it was where we saw a mate of ours who shot a little video from the side of the stage and seeing how packed the tent was. That yeah. was awesome. It was great. That um, was, it was the, easily the biggest crowd we've ever done, like by a magnitude. It was ridiculous, yeah. yeah. But it was completely a blast to play and we're delighted to have done it. Amazing. And, yeah. Um, okay, so we'll talk about your, your latest record, which was Actus Reis. That came out last year, right? That's right, yeah. So how's the reception to that kind of been? Has your profile kind of been raised a wee bit? I mean, a little bit, yeah. Like, uh, in terms of doing an initial release, uh, we ended up doing a nine track album because we couldn't pick like four good songs that we liked the most. So we just ended up doing all of them. I think for me as well, it's we blend genres a little bit. So we kind of do a hardcore thing, a metalcore thing, we blend genres. Yeah. We had like six songs and like we could have done an EP that would have sounded good. But the second EP would have been like, what they're doing now is really different. Yeah. yeah. So we kind of felt the need to do a whole album to kind of figure out the yeah. Like get the identity, I guess. And, that's the way it makes sense to us. Yeah, but like I, we, we're really proud of it, and people seem to be enjoying it, and it's uh, it's getting plenty of plays online and that. And we've shifted a few CDs, so uh, feeling pretty good about it. Good, like, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. So obviously you're saying that's a little bit like maybe experimental. There's like a bit of a mishmash of the sounds on what you have already. So. Is that how it's going to maybe be for the future? Like future material is quite a, a bit of a melting pot. Yeah, yeah, well, absolutely. We've already like nailed down the musical aspects of one song, and that is pretty different. It's still a bit us. Yeah. And then we've got a bunch of other ideas kicking around, which is a combination. Of, like, I think of it as like being like a fair amount of sort of hardcore, like stuff like Every Time I Die and Verge and things like that. Yeah. Blend it in, but then also like it would be cool to have a sludgy song. It would be cool to have a stone tree song. Yeah, this is it. One or two new things as well. There's kind of lots of different threads that we can go down. It's not like what these guys doing. Like, yeah, like, it kind of makes sense. Ultimately, like we are two blokes who love heavy music, and nominally we're a hardcore band, but whatever we do, it's just going to sound like Greg and Few. Yeah. Like it's obviously it's going to sound like that, but we, we've got. I think we have very few songs that sound super alike. Yeah. So we're just gonna we're gonna write the songs that we write, and you can deal with it, honestly. Yeah. Fucking. Okay. Also, when I write riffs, I usually start from a certain angle, and it's completely different by the time I'm finished. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> I think we love that, don't we? That's it. Like the a lot, a lot of the songs <laughs> we end up with are nothing like what we began with. Yeah. Like the process is the music. So it, we just end up with the songs we get, and that, that's kind of where we. I think that that's our niche. Is like fucking. I don't know. <laughs> well, 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 well it's, whatever it is, it's Roglin. It that's is. what that, that's what it is. Yeah. Okay. So, well, you said you are you are two folks that love heavy metal, but I had a wee look at some of your other interviews you've done in the past, and when he is absolutely loves pop music. Yeah, that's me, bitch. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, how how did, does that come into play in any sort of way, like even in, maybe not necessarily musically, but even in terms of maybe production or something like that? Well, like, does pop music? have an influence on the band a little bit like because i i handle most of the lyrics so i'll try and introduce like a lyrical hook or um you know a song like siren head it's kind of the chorus is like four different choruses but each bit is a little bit memorable um so i, I try and like introduce like two or three hooks to keep the listener sort of intro uh sort to keep the listener invested but also guessing yeah. So I, I recognise the power of a good hook. Yeah. But we never like, as a band, we never do anything normal. Yeah. So it's gonna come out weird and loud anyway. So I might as well throw a fucking sexy pop chorus in there. I think yeah, the interesting thing there as well is I used to make mixtapes on cassettes as those people did. Yeah. And it used to be all pop music, and then it was all metal and punk. But the yeah. line where there was like a blend of the two. And it's, this has never occurred to me, but you say you always like to get a vocal hook in. I essentially try to do that with a guitar, so... Yeah, yeah. Maybe we do have, like, a big pop influence knocking back. Like, That's it. Yeah, because like, I, I suppose, like, the lyrics are my voice, and the riffs are your voice. Because drums are just drums, so... <laughs> <laughs> How pretentious was that? Was that all right? Uh, that, that, that was perfectly fine. Perfectly valid. I appreciate you saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so I understand that you guys came from Metal to the Masses, yeah? 
We did, yeah. Yeah, so how was that experience for you? Was it Nottingham, right? Yeah. It was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so how, how was your Metal to the Masses experience then? Um, so. I mean, we we talked about doing it. We thought we will play a gig, maybe two if we're lucky, out of the three, and we'll get some exposure. Yeah, so we just... That's how we got through, and we never expected it. That's it. Like, we, we kind of looked at it as another gig. Yeah. So we, we went into it not expecting anything. We thought we'd get cooked in the semis if we even made it there. Yeah. And um, it was just, we sort of bungled our way through, and like we didn't even win our heat. We got the wild card. So, so when things says bungled, not everybody laughs about this. In the semi final, in the intro of our first song, he drops the drumsticks twice within five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> and but I kept going, bitch. Amazingly, it worked in our favour. Yeah, we're tenacious, baby. Yeah, we can't uh, be stopped. Well, at least it was memorable, maybe for, well, I don't know, some might say the wrong reasons, some might say the right reasons. In the end, it doesn't fucking matter, you're here, aren't you? So We, ma we made it somehow, yeah. yeah. Look at it, we, we've played Bloodstock, that's nuts. We've done like 16 gigs, and one of them was Bloodstock. How fucking dumb is that? <laughs> so, so the only way is up from here then. So talking gigs, have you got any plans for any touring in the future? Um, touring, we might not be able to get that to that just yet. Like one-off shows here and there, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, we, we've got a couple yeah. going for like November, December time, haven't we? Yeah, we've got like five coming up, but none of them are announced yet, so we can't say what okay. they are. Yeah, but there's yeah. Some okay. things. There's, there's a few things in the last two months this year, and then there's something for June or July next year. We're gonna make that. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, we've got things building up. We just can't yeah. say that. <laughs> We're going to maintain a presence, but World Tour might be 2028. We'll see how we go. <laughs> so, well, the point is right now, then, everyone just needs to keep an eye out, keep an ear out, and see what happens. Yeah, fucking stay alert for rogue limbs in your area. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, as far as the rest of Bloodstock goes, I take it you guys are staying the rest of the weekend. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. what are you looking forward to? Oh, God, we got hate breed in a bit. Looking forward to that. Um, I kind of can't wait to see Architects. We got, um, you know, this, this load, I, I, nothing comes to mind right now unless I can get the fucking Clash yeah. Finder out. I, I mean, but it's Day Aside, I've never seen them. Yeah, Day Aside, I love Day Aside, man. Yeah. I haven't uh, seen them for 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> see, um, see how they compare to back in the day. <laughs> carcass, can't forget Carcass. Yeah. Got to do a bit of fucking antiseptic flesh. I know Beth are bringing the Browns back. So. Yeah. yeah. Spudman, gotta go and check out Spudman. <laughs> and then afterwards, obviously, tonight it's party time. Are you taking it easy? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we, we took it easy last night, but uh, the pressure's off now, so uh, the whiskey's coming out. We'll see how we go. Yeah, big stun. Have <laughs> you got any much more interviews after myself, or is, uh, is that work over? Well, I mean, we wasn't sure when we'd be here, so we haven't scheduled anything, so we might like, play around, have a chat, and see what happens. But otherwise, yeah. we've got to watch Hate Yeah. 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 Might go and have a fucking cheeky pint. Fair enough. See well, we, we will wrap up a little bit there, lads. So before we go, where can everyone find you? Um, check us out on the socials. Anywhere there's an at, we're at Rogue Limb, uh, Bandcamp. Uh, oh, cheers. Uh, RogueLimb.Bandcamp.com. Come and buy a T-shirt, baby. Have a CD. We've got some tapes, but I think we're only selling those at gigs, right? Point is... Uh, cassettes. Well, yeah, yeah we've got a, we, I think we've got like four left. But... Um, yeah, point is at Rogue Limb, um, and we'll see you there. Come and come and check us out in Nottingham. I'm talking to the camera like a prick. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead, absolutely go ahead. Right, so we'll end it there. Thank you very much, lads. Nice one, thanks for having us. Cheers.